what we've been talking about is pre-aggregated data up until now, right? This is data that, again, Microsoft has gone out and collected it from a number of sources and basically provided you with an aggregate table that you can report against. What if that's not good enough, right? I want to know. I, I want to know the interactivity between a specific individual and um, a, a piece of content. Well, I'm going to need to know two things, really, and that you know that aggregation covers uh, both of these to some degree. But I, I'm going to need to know what I have, and I'm going to need to know what I did, or what my organization has and what my organization did. So one piece of those two puzzles is covered off by the audit log. Um, the audit log um, is, is in your tenant, needs to be turned on, um, and it will track everything everyone does for some time. We'll get into the, what, those, what those time periods are, and you can search it. So across every workload has a number of activities that you can query for, and you, you, you can see the screen here. It's, it's under the purview brand now, so if you go into the, the purview um, console, I guess, the purview portal, um, you can uh, you can go search this. You basically specify a time range you want to search for, what activities you want to search for. In this case, you're looking at a check a file was checked in in SharePoint. You can restrict that to a number of sites, and then you can hit go. Okay. And, uh, uh, when you uh, when you hit go, you're going to get a series of results, and you can see how granular these are, right? You've got the day and the time. You got the IP address of uh, where people were calling in from, what that activity was what the item itself was. So you can see in the, in the top case, it was a, it was a page. Um, and, uh, and you can see uh, where, it, where it came from. And but the, there's a level of detail that's beyond the, just what's, what shows up on this screen that, uh, that you can also ask. And the metadata that appears is gonna depend to some degree on the workload that was being access, uh, accessed um, uh, and the activity uh, being requested. So you can call that, you can go into the compliance.microsoft.com, go into audit log search, try it yourself, all right? But again, this is the kind of granularity that you're gonna need if you need to do advanced analytics. And this is available through the audit log. Take care.